What's up guys? We're back with the A3 and today we're installing an ethanol sensor. First step guys, pop off that beautiful engine cover. Next up, we want to remove this fuel line. Um, this is under high pressure. Well, this is actually low pressure, but this is still a lot of pressure. 60 PSI, right around there probably. Honestly, most of you guys are probably gonna get right in there and just undo it. So I'm gonna do as well, cause that's what you guys are gonna do. And let me give you tips on what you're actually gonna do. So what you wanna do, get a rag. We're gonna circle this thing and Look at that, I already sprayed a little bit, so I'm gonna go like this. There we go, popped off. Everything's looking pretty good. Do not open up your door, it'll kick on the fuel pump. So, now we have the other fuel line to take off. A little connection, as you would say. Yeah, well, I'm just gonna be honest, you're pretty much gonna have to break this one. Now with a pick, be gentle. You can literally poke a hole in this thing. I gotta break it off the mating surface here. So I'm gonna go around it. Just work it back and forth. So we're gonna be removing this line right here. <clears throat> if your engine's hot and you drop fuel on the exhaust, it could combust, so let's not do that. That being said, being precautious. So my install is gonna be a little different from the instructions you're gonna see online. I kind of want, I kind of want mine hidden, just so you guys get an idea. I'm gonna put this right here. The clamp is right here, so I can just. But I'm not gonna tighten that down just yet because I might have to make some modifications of cutting the line, but I'm gonna mock it up first. I'm gonna hide the harness. So I'm gonna stick this pick back here because this thing doesn't really wanna come off up yet. Let's go. Take it behind it. Stick it in here. All right, guys, like I said, guys, I really want to be hidden with this, so. Yeah, that's nice and tight. Everything's held pretty secure. This is the specialty tool I'm using. Uh, you probably cl clamp it with other stuff, but this is actually the right tool to do the job. So. Obviously make sure the line's really on there really well. Put it right in the middle. And squeeze, there we go. And look at this one, <laughs> right here. So I'm really going for the hidden look. The engine cover will cover this right up. So what I'm gonna do is gotta hide the harness, right? That being said. Here, I'll have this. So I'll zip tie that right there. Zip tie it right there. Tie the brake line over here. For you guys to know, the white wire is a signal wire. You don't actually need the white wire. So I'm actually gonna tuck it away right in here. I just want it out of my way. Mm -hmm. 
All right, we'll get back to that in a sec. On my last ethanol sensor install, people are complaining that I just hooked it up to the battery saying it's draining the battery. If this sensor were to drain your battery, you got a bad battery. But I'm actually gonna hook it up to a key ignition wire to make it proper. That being said, tapping in right to the fuse box. Um, there is only one key ignition wire in here. 7.5 fuse right here. That's the golden ticket to doing this. Do that fuse, put it in the right fuse position. This you can get from AutoZone, any auto parts store, really. What you can do is, boom, just like that, nice and hidden here. Personally, <clears throat> I don't care for these type of connections. That's how you make you have a proper connection. You'll chase your tail sometimes on those when they don't have a proper connection. It's really frustrating. So, you know, I could go under there, but it's just, that's overthinking it, guys. You can, <clears throat> whatever way works for you here. I'm just doing like this, electrical tape. Because this box is not even actually sealed. The proper way to actually do it is this. Now with dirty gloves on. There you go, guys. Nice and simple. Back to the ground side here. Like it never happened. All right, let's get to zip times and stuff. So, like I said, guys, we're going for that nice hidden look here. And then zip tie. You don't want wires having fatigue, which means moving back and forth. Holds that sensor right there really tight, so nothing's gonna move. Now I'm gonna zip tie the wire here. Tie the wire to the line. That's uh, that's honestly gonna do it for me. Engine cover time. Is it hidden? That's that's your. How would they know? All right guys, to show you that this is a legit key on engine off kind of situation, that it'll only work. Connect up. Car's not on right now. There we go, see? Now I'm gonna go turn the key on real quick. All right. Did I do it right? Oh snap. Oh, good job guys. Well, what'd you guys think? Not too bad of an install. Now you know your ethanol content rating, and you're gonna have some fun. If you guys know at the end of it, you need to cycle the key a couple times to get the fuel pressure up to the high pressure fuel pump. Other than that, should be good to go. Enjoy the video. Thanks for tuning in. As always, stay tuned.